Hello, I'm Jeppe Rasmussen. And I'm Mass Rasmussen. Would you consider this fresh and natural food? Like somehow this is part of the tomato plant? Or maybe these are just the outer leaves of the lettuce? Or do you believe that the food you see in the supermarket is somehow better or cheaper if it comes from far away? Instead, try to imagine that you could grow your very own ecological food right at home. With the Continuum Garden, we hope to change the way you think about food. Now, we want to change the way people think about food for a reason, right? Absolutely. Because, I mean, there's so many problems with food in the world today. Yeah, like the use of pesticides. Or the, just the pollution you get from shipping food around the planet. Or the constant hunger problem that we still haven't found a long-term solution for. Due in part to like diminishing topsoil and uh, lack of nutrients for the plants. So obviously there's no single one-step solution to all of these diverse problems. <laughs> no. Uh, but at least what we're proposing is a very real step in the right direction for all of them. Absolutely. It's sustainable, it's long-lasting, it has very low energy consumption. It's for everyone, because it doesn't rely on where you are on the planet, uh, it doesn't rely on topsoil at all. No, and it allows people to produce food locally for themselves. The Continuum Garden is a hydroponic system. This basically means soilless gardening, so it's a system where the plants suck nutrients directly out of water instead of soil. Now, plants also need light. In the case of the Continuum Garden, the light comes from LEDs. Um, we should probably explain this to people, because the result is a freakishly purple light. Yeah, well, the light is purple for one very good reason. The frequencies that plants use for their photosynthesis are in the blue and red frequency areas. So any other light that we feed to them is basically wasted, it just bounces off, which is why plants are green. Now when you take the blue and red light and combine them, you get this purple light. The basic elements of the Continuum Garden are two wheels held together by 15 struts, all of which support the 60 or so plants. A gear system controls the one hour rotation of the garden as well as the pump that waters the plants. The advantage with having a rotating system like this one is really quite simple. Plants have a natural mechanism that makes them want to stay vertical. It gets them closer to the sunlight. So as the garden turns and the plants find themselves in a horizontal position or even upside down, they will strain against gravity, sucking up more nutrients to grow faster. But let's be more specific, let's really lay out the plan for people. Alright, well it's a four step plan. The first step is to build a regular sized 3D printer. We've already done that. The second step is to use that printer to print the pieces for a big 1 by one meter printer. The third step is to use that printer to print the pieces for a rotating garden and then assemble it. The fourth and final step is to grow food experiment with different types of plants, and then share all our data. So on that note, I think it might be a good idea to mention that all of these four steps, the printers and the garden, are all going to be completely open source. Oh yes. Which basically means that we're going to share our designs and the data we collect in a collaborative way with everyone. In fact, we've already started posting our progress on Thingiverse and Wikipedia. Well, this all seems pretty straightforward, but do you think people are going to support us? I think so. Uh, I'd support us. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Hello, I'm Jeppe Rasmussen. And I'm waving vegetables around. <laughs> <laughs>